At the heart of this narrative lies the story of Haley Anderson, a young woman who aspired to a bright and love-filled future. Haley was more than just a presence in the lives of those lucky enough to know her. She was a source of light, kindness, and determination. His vibrant personality and infectious smile brightened the lives of everyone who had the privilege of crossing his path. Born in Westbury, Haley had an insatiable thirst for knowledge and a deep love for helping others, which led her to earn a degree in nursing from Binghamton University Medical Center. Since her college days, Haley has displayed strong independence and a selfless character, working hard to achieve her goals while spreading joy and positivity wherever she went. But behind her bright smile was a young woman with dreams and ambitions that sadly would never be fully realized. Her life was cut short in a moment of unjustified violence, leaving an indelible void in the lives of those who loved her. Now, as we explore the story of Haley Anderson and the tragic fate she met, we cannot help but recognize her luminous essence and vibrant spirit, which continue to live in the hearts of those who knew her. Her story is a warning against violence and a reminder of the fragility of life, but above all, it is a tribute to a young woman who left an everlasting imprint on the world around her. Haley Anderson's fate was marked by a dark mystery that began with her disappearance. That night, the skies seemed calm and college life went on as usual, until her absence sent warning signals among those who knew her. Early moments of worry quickly turned into growing anxiety when Haley didn't show up for her scheduled meeting with friends, nor did she return calls or texts. The anguish intensified when the investigation led to the location of Haley's phone in the home of Orlando Tertero, another nursing student with whom she had been in a tumultuous relationship. Worry turned to terror when, once inside Orlando's house, the most terrible discovery was made. Haley's body, hidden under the sheets in Orlando's bed. At that moment, horror and dismay pervaded those who found themselves faced with such a tragic scene. Questions flashed. Who could have committed such a horrible act? What dark secrets were hidden behind the seemingly normal facade of that house? The discovery of Haley's body in Orlando Tertero's residence hall marked the beginning of a spiral of events that would append not only the lives of her loved ones, but also the entire university community and beyond. The search for truth and the search for justice would dominate the days to come, bringing to light shocking details and shocking revelations about what really happened to Haley Anderson. In the intricate fabric of Haley Anderson's life, a dark chapter was written by her tumultuous relationship with Orlando Tertero. What began as a romantic bond soon turned into a whirlwind of obsession and jealousy, leaving deep scars on the souls of both. After their relationship ended, Orlando showed obvious signs of obsession with Haley. His fiery jealousy manifested itself in subtle but disturbing ways, such as unexpected visits and incessant phone calls. As Haley tried to free herself from Orlando's oppressive embrace and pursue her independent life, he clung to her in desperation, unable to accept the end of their romance. The signs of obsession became increasingly evident as Orlando desperately attempted to control every aspect of Haley's life, from her social relationships to her daily movements. Her inflamed jealousy was a destructive force that undermined Haley's freedom and autonomy, creating a climate of fear and oppression around her. But while Orlando tried to forcefully hold Haley down, she struggled to free herself from her emotional chains. His determination and inner strength were a bulwark against his temptations, yet the threat persisted, ever present like a dark shadow over his life. Haley and Orlando's tumultuous relationship is a painful reminder of the dark depths of love and obsession. It is a warning against the dangers of obsession and jealousy, and a testament to the strength and resilience of the human soul in the face of adversity. After the horror of Haley Anderson's murder, Orlando Tertero's escape to Nicaragua has added a new chapter of drama to this tragic story. His escape sparked a manhunt that spanned international borders as authorities in the United States struggled to bring the suspected killer to justice. American authorities immediately began efforts to extradite Orlando to the United States, hoping to ensure that he faces the consequences of his actions in court. However, the road to justice proved to be winding and complicated as international laws presented unique challenges in trying to bring Orlando to court in America. Meanwhile, in Nicaragua, Orlando had taken refuge, taking advantage of his dual citizenship and taking advantage of the legal challenges that accompany extradition between countries. The legal process in Nicaragua would play a crucial role in determining Orlando's fate and seeking justice for Haley. The legal process in Nicaragua was a test of international cooperation and the authorities' willingness to ensure that the alleged killer was held accountable for his actions before the law. 
However, the path to justice has never been easy, and the trial presented unique challenges in Nicaragua's legal and cultural context. At this crucial stage in the story, hopes of justice for Haley hovered in suspense as the world anxiously watched the outcome of the legal trial in Nicaragua and its impacts on Orlando Tertero's future. The legal process involving Orlando Tertero, both in the United States and in Nicaragua, represented a crucial moment in the search for justice for the death of Haley Anderson. This part of the video focuses on the phases of the trial, highlighting the final verdict and Orlando's conviction for femicide. In the United States, authorities worked tirelessly to bring Orlando to justice, presenting evidence and witnesses to prove his guilt in Haley's murder. The trial was characterized by intense debates and moving testimonies, while Orlando's fate hung suspended between the hope of justice and the possibility of escape. In Nicaragua, the legal process represented an opportunity for the justice system to demonstrate its commitment to the fight against femicide and gender-based violence. The Nicaraguan authorities carefully examined the evidence presented and listened to the arguments of both the prosecution and the defense before issuing a verdict that would have profound consequences for Orlando's life. The final verdict resulted in the conviction of Orlando Tercero for femicide, acknowledging his role in the killing of Haley Anderson and imposing a sentence that reflected the severity of his crime. The conviction for femicide underlined the importance of combating gender violence and gave voice to the memory of Haley a young woman who was taken from life too soon. This verdict not only brought a sense of relief to those who loved Haley, but also sent a powerful message about the need to combat gender-based violence in all its forms. As the court process concluded, the hope for justice for Haley still lived, as the world reflected on the broader implications of this case and the importance of protecting women from similar violence in the future. Reactions to Orlando Tertero's conviction and the conclusion of the legal trial reflected a range of intense emotions from Haley's family and the authorities involved. After years of fighting to get justice for Haley's loss, the news of Orlando's sentencing brought a mix of relief, grief, and hope. For Haley's family, Orlando's sentencing was a moment of closure and reconciliation as they tried to process the loss of a beloved daughter and find some form of justice for her memory. Although the pain of her absence would remain forever, Orlando's sentencing brought a sense of justice that allowed them to begin to heal and remember Haley with love and dignity. Authorities involved in the legal process also expressed a sense of satisfaction with the outcome of the case, recognizing the importance of combating gender-based violence and ensuring that those who commit similar crimes are held accountable for their actions. Orlando's conviction represented a victory for justice and a step forward in the fight against femicide and gender violence. However, despite the verdict, the scars left by Haley's loss would remain forever. Her absence would continue to weigh on the hearts of those who loved her, as the world reflected on the broader implications of this case and the need to protect women from similar violence in the future. Ultimately, Orlando's conviction and the conclusion of the legal process represented a moment of closure and hope for those who had loved and lost Haley. As they continued their journey of healing and remembrance, her vibrant spirit and memory would live in their hearts forever. The journey through Haley Anderson's story brings us to the final reflection on her life, on her bright light extinguished too too soon, but also on the legacy she leaves behind. Haley was not just a victim of violent crime, but a young woman vibrant with life, with dreams and hopes for a bright future. We remember Haley not only for the tragedy that shattered her life, but for her kindness, her indomitable spirit, and her desire to make the world a better place. Her memory lives on through the affection she left behind in the hearts of those who loved and knew her. But beyond commemorating Haley, this tragic tale reminds us of the reality of gender violence that persists in our society. Haley's story is a reminder of the importance of recognizing and combating violence against women in all its forms. It is a reminder of the need to create safe and respectful communities, where every individual can live without fear of violence or abuse. As we say goodbye to this painful history, we bring with us a renewed commitment to preventing gender violence. We must educate, raise awareness, and act to create a world where every person can live with dignity and security. May the memory of Haley and all victims of violent crimes be a beacon that guides us towards a future of peace and justice for all. We invite you to follow our channel to stay updated on true crime documentaries and to contribute to our community by sharing your thoughts and comments on this case. Together we can give victims a voice, educate about violence prevention, and work towards a safer and more just future for all. Thank you for watching this video and for your commitment to fighting gender violence.
continue to be part of the conversation and carry forward the message of justice and hope.